Hi everyone, welcome to your channel Impulse Tech. I am Yogesh Bhavne. So today I have come up with an interesting video which is based upon the Blink IoT platform. So if you watched my previous video, then you must have learned about the how to create template, how to add the device and how to create automations inside the Blink platform. If you go to your template, the template that we have created that is data monitoring with automation. So let's click on that. You can see there are various options available like metadata, data streams, events, web dashboard and mobile dashboard. So we have used here data stream, web dashboard and mobile dashboard. So we haven't used the events. So today's video is all about the events. We'll see what is events, how to create the events and what are the ways to create the events and what is the use of events in the Blink IT platform. So first of all, let me explain you what is events. If you want to understand the events, in simple terms I can say there are various events happening around us. For example, wedding, birthday parties, workshops. So these are the events happening around you. Now same thing we wanted to do with our device. Like there are various events happening in our devices as well. So for example, I can consider. So if your device is monitoring temperature, humidity and the different data, then you can say if the temperature value or the humidity value exceeds certain limit, then you can log that event. So you can consider that as an event. So for example, if the temperature goes below 40 degrees Celsius, then you can log that event in the Blink IoT platform. So if you want to log the total working hour of your device, how much time your device is online, then you can do that as well. So these are the simple examples of events in our devices. What is the use of events? So what we can do, we can use these events to send the notification to the user. So, so there are different types of notification that you can send. So first notification you can send is, you can send the email, you can send the push notification to the Blink app. So it will appear in your notification bar of your mobile app. And also you can send the SMS to the user. But here we are using the free version of Blink IoT platform. So we cannot able to send the SMS to the user. Now, now let's see from the scratch how to create event inside the Blink IoT platform step by step. So go to your template first, the template that you have created. Let's click on that. Now you can see the event tab is there. Let's click on that event tab. In the event tab, you can see there are two events already there. One is online and another one is offline. Basically, these events tells you that your device is online or offline. So now we wanted to add one more event. So let's click on edit. Now here you can see there is an option that is add new event. Let's click on that add new event. Now you need to provide the event name as well as event code. So I'll write here test event. So basically I wanted to log the test event for testing purpose. So I'll write the name test underscore event. So automatically here you can see the event code is there. So let's keep it as it is. Now there are different types of events available. First one is info, warning, critical and content. Here I just wanted to explain you how to log the events. So that's why I'm using info. So based upon your application, you can select the type of your event. So here you can see once you select the warning, then the color of that event code is changed. If you select critical, then color also changed. So this is how you can select the type of your event. Now provide the meaningful description for your events. If you have so many events, then you should know what is the use of this event. So I'll write here. So this event I used for whenever the potentiometer data is greater than 2500. So that's why. So pot value is above 2500. So you just need to provide the meaningful description. Now here you can see. So now whenever this event logs, what you wanted to do? So there are various options given. You can see send event notification to the tab. So what does this do? So it will send notification to your mobile app. So we wanted to do that as well. So let's click on that. Now you can see now send event to timeline. So I will explain you where is the timeline. So you can send this event in the timeline as well. So let's click on that. Let's click on create. Once again, we'll need to edit it. Huh. Here you can see the notification tab is available. 
So let's click on that notification tab and click on enable notification. So we wanted to send email. So here you can see we can send email. So let's click on that. So here we can send email to the device owner or the user if you have added. So if you have added any user, then you can add your user as well. We can able to send the push notification as well. So select here device owner. So push notification will appear in your notification bar of your mobile. Now SMS. So this is only available in the white label solution. Now notification limit, you can set your periods, event counter and everything. So let's click on save. So let's click on save. Let's click on update one active device. Now there are two ways for logging the events. The first one is firmware API. So here we need to add few lines of code inside the Arduino code. And the second one is you can make a HTTP request by using the REST API. So I will explain you both the ways for logging the events. So we will see the first one that is using the firmware API. So for that we just need to modify few lines of code. So in my previous video I have explained you this code already. So if you want to learn that I have mentioned the link in the i button as well as in the description box. So you can watch that as well. So here inside the void sensor for using the firmware API for logging the events you just need to use this that is blink dot log event and the event name as you can see we have created the same event inside the event tab that is test underscore event so just copy the same name and go to the Arduino code and paste it here you can see so we have used here if this is the condition for logging the event so this condition can be anything for example if the temperature is greater than 40 degrees Celsius then log the event so here what I have done if pot value so you can see here I am storing the potentiometer data by using the analog read command now if the potentiometer value is greater than 2500 then here you need to use this firmware API bling dot log event and and the name of your event upload the same code in the ESP32 board so I have already uploaded it and we will test that we are able to log the events or not let's go to the device let's click on search icon so this is our device data monitoring with automation let's click on that now it says offline so let me connect my device to the hotspot so the, my device is connected as you can see the blink IoT platform is quite fast as well it says online so let's click on that device Now here you can see the data. So here you are getting the data of potentiometer. Now the potentiometer value as you can see it's 2247. Just let me go to my mobile app so that I can explain you that as well. So here you can see the mobile dashboard as well as the web dashboard. So you can see the value of potentiometer is 2251. So the now the value is decreasing as I am rotating the knob. So here I wanted to log the event so for that we need to increase the value more than 2500 and also if you wanted to see that whether your event is logged or not just go to the device timeline just click here so this is the event that I have created already so I will increase the potentiometer value more than 2500 so our automation is also triggered and event is also triggered you can see so the value is 1829 so let me increase more than 2500 as you can see the event is logged the pot value is about 2500 the description that we have given here you can see your event is logged the same event is logged in the notification of your mobile as well as you can see in the screen so there are limitations for events so the first limitation is you can only able to send 100 events per device per day so when the limit is reached you will see the notification so this is the notification that you will get event limit reached and the maximum description length is 300 characters so this is the limitations of events so now i will explain you the one more way for logging the event that is by using the rest apis so just copy this link and paste it in your browser just go to browser and just paste here as you can see here as you can see here you need your authorization token and the event name go to your blink console and go to your device info here you can see here you can see the authorization token let's copy that authorization token 
and go to your tab and paste your authorization token here and paste it here and and write the name of your event so I'll write here test underscore event okay and let's click on enter as I've reached the limit for events so that's why I'm not able to see the events here so you can able to see the events by using this method as well so you can able to log the events by using the rest api as well you can copy this link and paste into your browser put your authorization token and the event name click on enter then you will see your event will log so this is the process for using the rest api so this is how you can log important events in your device in blink IoT platform so if you found this video useful then do subscribe the channel and like the video thanks for watching